does her no really mean no? Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lady Chanel. Renee, thank you so much for tuning into this video. As a purpose-driven performance coach, it is my job to help you navigate through one of the most difficult seasons and transitions in your life. If you want to make this next season in your life the most remarkable season and best season yet, then you definitely want to stay tuned to this video. And at the end, check out the description box below and you will be able to see all the services and products and resources that I have available just for you. So in the meantime, stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Listen, I'm excited to talk about this topic. Um, I just had an in interesting conversation with a client earlier and I said, let me spill some of this tea on my channel because I know somebody can benefit from this information. Listen, fellas, this is for you, all right? Ladies, you can tune in too. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, um, women, we say no to things. We, you know, we say we say no to men all the time, right? Um, especially if you're a high value woman, um, you're gonna say no to men all the time, right? Um, however, <laughs> our action sometimes doesn't match up with our no. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Our actions may not match up with our no. Like, we're like, no, we don't really want to talk to you, but we're still talking to you, right? <laughs> Listen, fellas, let me spill some tea with you because oftentimes our no doesn't really mean no. It's just you haven't presented us with the right offer. I'm going to run that back. You haven't presented us with the right offer for us to say yes to, you, right? So what you've offered us isn't necessarily something we necessarily want. But we're, we're sticking around to see if you're going to present a different offer that we're okay with, okay? And so that's what, what I mean by our no doesn't really mean no. One of the things that um, uh, I've discovered, even in my own life, and y'all know on this channel, I talk a lot about boundaries and saying no, no is a, a whole sentence, all of that good stuff, right? But I've recognized recently that um, when I'm saying no, um, I may be shutting out opportunities that could benefit my life, benefit my business, benefit my ministry, whatever the case may be, right? And so saying no shouldn't be something that I just do. Um, I may need to present a different offer. I may need to say, um, this is what I can do. This is what I can accept, right? Uh, what you've offered may not be something I'm comfortable with, but here's what I am comfortable with. And then that person can be comfortable or not comfortable with it. We can negotiate until we both are comfortable with the scenario. However, um, la ladies, <laughs> if you're watching this, um, we have to get confident enough to present our offer. Okay. And so we'll talk about that more in our chapter next group, but men for you, um, if a woman is saying no, but she's still sticking around, she's waiting for a different offer. This is coming from a woman's perspective. Um, oftentimes, um, she's looking for an option that makes her feel safe. So for example, if, if you ask a woman to dinner and she says, mm, no, but she's still conversing with you, right? Um, she may be waiting on a different offer where she feels more, more comfortable, feels more safe. Uh, maybe lunch, maybe coffee, maybe a picnic, maybe an, an outing with a group is something that, that she will feel more, more comfortable with you and getting to know you. And this also comes from maybe a history of heartbreak, um, a history of disappointment, which has nothing to do with you. However, again, she may not be in a space um, emotionally where she feels safe to go to dinner. Um, I know for me, dinner is a special place, special time for me. And so, and, and a very val valuable time in my day. For, so for me to go to dinner with someone, it's particularly a, a, in, on a particular day of the week, um, it may be a no for me. However, it's not because uh, you're, you're not attractive or you're not valuable or you're not a good person. It just may be that um, I'm not sure about you yet. And so I don't know if I want to invest that part, portion of my day with you, but I may be willing to do coffee with you. I may be willing to do lunch with um, you. Right? Fellas, just think about that and be flexible about that. Perhaps you, again, if the, if the lady is still conversing with you, maybe present her with a different offer, right? Offer lunch, offer um, coffee, offer um, something else. Or you may even ask a question, um, Simply, how can I get to know you? you? You know, if we can't go to dinner, how can I get to know you? What would make it more comfortable for you, right? 
And so uh, whatever, now this is giving her an opportunity to present you with an offer that she is comfortable with. And again, fellas, you don't have to just take her offer. You can negotiate until you're comfortable and she's comfortable, right? And sometimes you may not get to a place where you both are comfortable and that's okay. But oftentimes if you are open and flexible and she's open and flexible, you may be able to reach a, a place where you both are comfortable and, and, um, and, and the experience that you have will be, be fruitful. And so, um, so just keep that in mind. Another question to ask, especially for those of you who are friends with, with a woman um, and you're not sure, you wanna take it to the next level, you're attracted to her, you think she's attracted to you and um, you wanna take it to another level but you're not sure where she's at with it. Another, a great question to ask, and this has been something that's been powerful for me, is how can I support you? Listen, fellas, your girl delivered. Many of you have asked about an inner circle just for men, and you all want to know how women think, all right? So guess what? Your girl delivered, and I created an inner circle for men like you that want to know how the women think in your life. This is all based on my book called reduce abuse and expect respect some of you fellas are getting abused out here in these streets and it's not pretty okay so definitely check out this inner circle now how can you be a part of it well tap the link down below and apply to register for our next session we do this every single month fellas so you can't miss out i've already talked to several men um, that are part of this inner circle and have they have gained some valuable tools and strategies to use in their relationships and communicate a whole lot better this can be you Go ahead and tap the link down below and apply so that I can see you in our next. What are you working on? How can I support what you're working on? How can I support what you're doing? This is a powerful question, y'all. And if you're anything like me, ladies, you can't really pass this up, okay? <laughs> if a person is asking, how can I support you? This is powerful. This means this person is willing to invest in, in your idea, in your purpose, in your vision. Um, in whatever you have going but on. When you ask this question, don't be afraid of this question. Remember, offers are very, very valuable and powerful. So if this lady says, um, you know what, I'm looking for an investor, right? That doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the investor. You may know somebody who wants to invest in her business or who wants to invest in her nonprofit or who wants to invest in what she has going on, right? In her ministry, whatever the case may be, right? Um, you may not be able to invest the full amount, right? You may be able to offer an amount you can invest. So you may be able to offer a service you can invest, right? In, in and, and whatever she has going on. However, this is a really great way to connect and become a partner in, um, with her, okay? Um, once again, takes the relationship to a whole nother level. So, so fellas, I just gave you some powerful, powerful questions that you can ask uh, when you are experiencing a, a, a conversation with a, a lady that tells you no. She not, may not necessarily be rejecting you. She may just be looking for a different offer. Um, Oftentimes she may be, she may want to see how invested you are. And I'm not just talking about financially, fellas. I'm talking about how invested you are in, in terms of time, in terms of, of value, in terms of, um, of just information that, that uh, can assist you both on building together. Um, let's get off the fence with, with, um, with, re with rejection and feeling rejected, especially with people who aren't um, who aren't truly rejecting them. Now, if a person says, no, um, there's no way you can help me. I don't really want you to be a part of my life and they walk away, then bye-bye, so long, bye-bye, right? We're not, we're not chasing people. But a person who's saying, you know what? Um, no, you can't take me to dinner, but I wanna keep having this conversation with you. They're looking for a different offer. And just be flexible, be open-minded um, um, with your offers. And then again, these powerful questions. Um, how can I get to know you then? How can I support you? Powerful question. Listen, fellas, definitely take a look down below in the description below and make some comments down below about what are the, what are some things that you've tried, um, uh, when you felt rejected? What are some things that you, you've tried, um, when someone told you no, and how did that work out for you? Have you tried any of the things that I'm suggesting now? And how did that work out for you? Let me know in the comments. 
listen there's a, a wealth of information down for down below for you and resources down below for you so check it out and let me know what you think well that's all folks listen thank you so much for watching this video listen if you enjoyed this video go ahead and let us know down in the comments below which part of the video resonated with you the most and don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification bell now for those of you who really enjoyed this video go ahead and share it with a friend or two or three or four or five or ten however many people you know need to see this video and i appreciate all of your support now friends until next time continue to stay blessed by the best and i will see you in the next video.